everyone. I am Sayyid Ruhi, a volunteer of AFRS. The topic I am going to present in today's session is about crime scene reconstruction. In this session, we are going to discuss about introduction of crime scene reconstruction, elements of crime scene reconstruction, checklist of crime scene reconstruction, outcome of crime scene reconstruction, types of reconstructions, and then advancement in reconstruction, and then lastly, conclusion. Firstly, introduction. Before going to the crime scene reconstruction, let's discuss about what is crime scene. So crime scene is a place where actual crime is occurred. And overall we can say that crime scene is a playground of criminal where he or she perform his or her crime. So we have four factors in a crime and they are 1. Crime scene, 2. A victim, 3. A perpetrator and 4. Evidences. These all factors are connected to each other. Let's take an, as an example. A person A, criminal, is trying to kill the person B, victim, in person B's house, which is going to the crime scene. And the weapon he uses are like knife or a gun, which is going to be the evidences. This all evidences related to the victim or criminal or the tool or the weapon he used, are we are going to find all these in B house, which is going to be a crime scene. So by this, we can say, if we do the proper crime scene investigation, we can catch the criminal and deliver the justice. So now let's come to our main topic, crime scene reconstruction. Crime scene reconstruction can be defined as follows. Crime scene reconstruction is the process of figuring out what happened during a crime by arranging the sequence of events that occurred before, during and after the crime. This gives the information of crime Connection between criminal and victim, motives of criminal and mode of crime. The crime scene reconstruction is done completely on the base of proper investigation and analysis of crime scene, forensic expert reports, all the evidences analysis. Now elements of crime scene reconstruction. Here are some elements that investigators should have in their hands while performing crime scene reconstruction. First one logical thinking, second one careful observation. And third one, considerable experience in crime scene investigation and forensic examination of physical evidences. And the lastly, the proper interpretation analysis. The main element for performing crime scene reconstruction is documentation, which we do while crime scene processing. In documentation, we have note making, photography, sketches and videography of whole crime scene. By analysis of all these documents, we have to proceed for crime scene reconstruction. Here is a picture. By seeing this picture, we can say what we have to do for complete proper result of crime scene reconstruction. Firstly, at the foundation, we have case management and role of forensic organization in crime scene processing and analysis. If we perform proper documentation and evidence analysis, this can help in proper crime scene reconstruction. Then in second, we have crime scene reconstruction process, which includes image analysis, event analysis and different scientific methods all in a teamwork. By this proper and fair process, we can reach to the top stage, which is the complete and proper result of crime scene reconstruction. So now let's come to the phases of crime scene reconstruction. These are three phases. First one is investigation phase. Second one is analysis phase. Third one is reconstruction phase. The investigation phase includes the examination of documents of cases and the examination of evidences fairly. Next is analysis phase. Here we analyze the evidences individually and their relation to the crime. Lastly, reconstruction phase. By all the analysis and investigation, we arrange the things and do the reconstruction process. So now checklist. So here is a checklist of documents a investigator to look up before performing crime scene reconstruction. First one, a list of subjects involved in the investigation. Second one, documents regarding crime scene and evidences like notes and photographies and sketches. Third one, reports and notes of officers who performed the crime scene investigation. And fourth one, forensic reports, notes and laboratory findings. And fifth one, reports of medical examiners. And sixth one is the witness statements. And all the documents rega regarding crime, like tapes, transcripts and reports, everything. 
now outcome of the crime scene reconstruction after whole crime scene process we will get the answers to the question that mostly asked in a crime and they are called as 5 w's and 1 h they are what happened in the crime how did the crime happen where did the crime happen why did the crime happen when did the crime happen and who did the crime and now the types of reconstruction the types of reconstruction classified on the basis of nature of crime the question that needed to be answered and the type of events have taken place this classification are four and these are so now first classification specific type of incident reconstruction it includes accident reconstruction specific crime reconstruction accident reconstruction example transport accident and second one is industrial accidents and specific crime reconstruction examples are specific crime cases like arson cases white collar cases homicide cases and rape cases and in second classification we have specific events reconstruction which includes sequence determination directional determination position determination relation determination conditional determination and identity determination here we perform reconstruction of events before during and after the crime scene and we relate them and in third we have degree of involvement reconstruction total case reconstruction partial case reconstruction limited event reconstruction specific pattern reconstruction this depends upon how much amount of case we reconstruct and now fourth classification which is called as specific type of physical evidence reconstruction which includes pattern evidences like examples are shoe print footprint and tire print reconstructions and second one is shooting investigation evidences in gunshot cases in this reconstruction we can see gun ranges and position of the guns and third one is serology evidences in here in this cases we see blood spatters and blood patterns reconstruction advancement in crime scene reconstruction with growing technology we have a method called as virtual crime scene reconstruction in which we use 3d imaging techniques and this can replace the manual method what we use mostly this whole division is called as forensic animations by the animation technology we can reconstruct the whole crime scene and case without the manual power and in less time we also have improved technology in photography division with drones 3d scanners and 3d cameras which record the whole crime scene clearly and we can use it as a proper reference while performing the reconstruction process so now lastly conclusion until now we have discussed about what is a crime scene reconstruction and its uses in crime scene investigation and what points a investigator should follow while performing crime scene reconstruction so we can say if the whole process is done unbiased and with proper investigation we can get the accurate results from the crime scene processing thank you for listening to the session on crime scene reconstruction have a nice day